In this video, we're going to take a look at the new power surge tool designed for Mozilla Firefox. Now, there is a version for Internet Explorer as well, but today we're looking at the Mozilla Firefox version. So, we all love Google and we like to perform our Google searches, but did you know that you can actually target those searches to specific documents? This means you're not searching the website only for different web pages but you can actually search it for different documents. Now here I've installed the Power Search tool available at powersearchtool.com onto my Mozilla Firefox browser and you can see it here as PST and there's no viruses or adware so it's fully safe to install. And it's a search toolbar with all sorts of advanced searches. Now this is the search box, it says enter search here, that's your power search tool search box. And let's just enter Sydney. You can enter whatever search you want, but I'm just going to use this for example. And here you have the Google search button, which would bring, me, bring you a normal Google search, as same as going to google.com and performing a search. But then you have the power search feature. So I'm going to click that and it's going to open this whole lot of menu of different types of searches that you can do. So I can search by a file type, PDF documents. Now I'm doing a PDF search just straight away. And here you can see 151,000 results. Now these are not web pages as you would think, but these are actually PDF documents. It's a great way to find ebooks and download them right onto your computer. So all I would do is right click and choose save link as. So I can search for, you know, Adobe Postscripts, uh, all sorts of advanced stuff here, and Microsoft Word documents. Did you know that all sorts of Microsoft Word documents are online, and you can find them with the Power Search tool? PowerPoint presentation. I mean, if you're doing a, an assignment, an essay, an introduction, and you want more information on a company or a specific topic, find a PowerPoint presentation online. Just type in the subject that you're looking for, go to file type and do a PowerPoint presentation search and download that presentation. And of course you can filter out those search terms as well. Occurrences, you can search different parts of the page so you can perform a title search which means it will just bring results with only seeing the top of the page. So this gives us 337 results. Look at this now, date history, this is fun, especially if you're a webmaster, you can see how was your website ranking one year ago, six months ago, and three months ago. So you can compare results. Free to use or share, if you're building a website, you can get content the legal way. So here you can find content that you're actually allowed to use on your website. So any of these different searches, I can just copy and paste it and there's no copyright uh, problems with that. Other search engines, you can search several different other search engines right from your browser. Exact phrase, include cinnamon, similar web pages, backlinks. Backlinks, of course, is seeing how many websites are linking back. So with that particular search, you would enter the URL of a web page, for instance, e-marketing for you, and then choose backlinks and see the popularity of the site by seeing how many backlinks are from that site. Then you have the MP3 search. You can search uh, for MP3 files. You have the world clock. So you can search different cities. Now, why would you do this? Let's say you're calling a friend in New York and you want to know what time it is. So I would go to World Cities and uh, from there you can choose New York and find out what time it is in New York. Get a nice analog clock here. Just loading up the time. So we can see at the moment it's 23 p.m. And uh, you can search by countries or cities. And then we have, look at this, we have image search. So I'm, I still have seen as the keyword and all these images of coming up. I can target my image search by the file type, by the size of the image and coloration. We can even get grayscale images of whatever we are searching for. Look at that. 
have the movie search. So we can search video clips right from our tool of Sydney as the keyword. And all these videos are coming up with Sydney as a keyword. I can watch them right here in the results page without even going to their website. So here we go. I'm just showing as a demonstration how we can watch these videos right in the results window. So this is some play. It's a little bit dark at the moment, but there you can see what I'm talking about. Then you have to the right of the video search, you have advanced video search. I can search for APIs, MPEGs, QuickTime, real videos, and Windows Media videos. Uh, also, different type of videos. I can categorize all my videos to just about anything education, documentary, dance, comedy, children's, business, art, and entertainment, whatever, and other things. Now, here's another cool thing that's just been added to the late, latest version is video hosts. So I can search like Blinks Break, Daily Motion Blur, Google Grind, all these different web hosting sites, even YouTube, right from my browser with one toolbar. Now we go to the Bargain Hunter. The Bargain Hunter enables me to find products. If I'm going shopping online, the Bargain Hunter works as a price runner. It'll bring me all the stores online that are selling that product with the price, and you'll be able to pick the cheapest one every time. Then we have the Currency Converter integrated with XC.com. So I could, for instance, put 100. I want to know how many 100 euros is in United States dollars. So you have all the different major currencies there and you can get that quickly and very easily. There we go, 100 euros at the moment is 141 US dollars. So you can quickly perform. You have a map, you have a Bible search uh, with 21 different translations and you have a split search which allows you to compare different versions. Then you have the Google and Yahoo. This is a split search where you get two search engines on one page so you can compare the results. Now, if you're a webmaster, they, that might come in for you. So I've got Google on one side and Yahoo on the other and you can change the combination of that. And you have some other tools here. So get this new power search tool. Of course, you can search history there and you can clear that very easily by clear search history and it's all gone you have some other options here and if you don't like it it's very easy to remove you can just uninstall it but go and try it out for yourself just go to powersearchtool.com and you can download it free so that's it the search is truly heading to another level now we have much more advanced search features than just googling the basic sites and you by targeting your searches you will get much better results so go and try it out go and google uh, your searches with the new power search tool